Hello, everyone. Welcome to Xinhua News Agency's International Museum Day Facebook Live, and this is our last last stop. And we are in Alice Island in New York. And in the past, by early immigrants, this is called the Island of Hope and Island of Tears. And today, it has been transformed into a museum. And we are really honored to have a ranger, Peter Wang, here. Hi, Peter. Hi. Can you give us a little bit introduction of yourself? Yeah, absolutely.、Uh, so、um, my name is Peter. I'm、uh, the supervisory park ranger、mm -hmm. in education here at the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island,、mm -hmm. and、uh, I'm honored to be here. I think that、uh, Ellis Island represents one of the most important chapters in United States history. Okay, so why don't you give us something about the building behind us? It is what is it? Yeah, absolutely. So the building that we see right here. I mean, it's、uh, it was built in 1900.、Mm -hmm. um, by the architects Boring and Tilden, and it was one of the most important symbols for immigrants coming in,、yeah. a symbol of welcome. I believe it was a, an immigration station in the past, right? And now it's a museum. Absolutely, yeah. So come on board. Let's let's take a look at a path that immigrants would have walked, and how we, as a museum, have tried to reinterpret and recreate the space.、Okay. There's a lot of story to tell. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the path that we're going on right now, this would have been a very, very similar path that immigrants coming to Ellis Island、mm -hmm. would have actually walked up. Okay. So at this point of the journey,、mm -hmm. they would have actually spent 10 to 12 days on the boat.、Mm -hmm. That large steamship that they traveled on,、mm -hmm. where's it? 2,000 people on these ships. Okay. They would have actually docked.、So、where did they come from? Europe. Yeah, mostly from Europe. You know, and. Uh, so the ports that when they left,、mm -hmm. you know, like they had a, a spot where these sh ships docked, and right now we're gonna.、Uh, and so once it docked, these steamships they would have been there for two or three days, and once they're there for two or three days,、um, they had to wait for someone here at Ellis Island、mm -hmm. to to tell them to. To tell them to say it's okay to come here、okay. to to be processed, because、mm -hmm. here at Ellis Island they had to go through two different things,、okay. two different processes, and so the space that we're we're in right now,、uh, af after that ferry ride, this is where they dropped off their their baggage. What I see is there's a lot of luggage here, right? Yeah, let, let's take a look at, at at some of these pieces of luggage right right here.、Um, yeah. The luggage here. I mean, that was all that people could actually carry while they were here. You know, just to imagine the the dreams, the hopes. You know, the whatever they consider to be remembrances of their old home. They have it right in these suitcases. You know, right in these trunks. And for for them, you know, I I could just only think about all the different emotions that they may have felt while they were here, because、uh, someone in a dark blue uniform. While they were here, would be holding、uh, stacks of paper, asking them to drop off these pieces of luggage. They would actually exchange, the, give them a piece of paper in exchange for their luggage, and then they would actually head upstairs.、Mm -hmm. You know, the space that we're in right now. I mean, it would have been filled with a host of different smells to things like、um, bleach. It, it would have been highly、uh, cleaned throughout. So this would, this space itself, I can only think about all the different feelings that it,、uh, immigrants may have felt through, you know, as they were going to head upstairs for their medical and legal inspection. So before they have the legal and medical inspection, they would、um, they would put their luggage here, right? And so, what's the next step? So yeah, let, let's take a look.、Under You know, for for many immigrants,、uh, they they were to head head upstairs, and they would actually go through the first of two medical inspections. So let's take a look. Let's head up there. I still remember vividly that in the movie The Godfather, right?、Uh, Vito Corleone, before he、uh, after he had the medical inspection, I believe,、uh -huh. and he he was. Um, he was staying in this room, and there's a small dorm, and、uh, he was there standing and looking at the Statue of Liberty. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you you know you pointed out the Island of Hope, Island of Tears, and that's you know like for those that、um, were detained here overnight, they many of them saw the Statue of Liberty over outside their window, so they realized just how close they were. 
but just how far away they were as well. Absolutely, absolutely. And they held onto it so deeply. And many of those feelings, mm -hmm. they see right here. They yeah. see right here in the Great Hall. This. Oh. When people describe Ellis Island, mm -hmm. they refer to the yeah. space back here. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the piece of architecture that we see right here, right? I mean, this was the op ultimate beacon, you know, of, of welcome. They wanted. Uh, immigrants to to be known hey listen this can be yours all you needed to do was actually get from one side uh, of the Great Hall to the next okay so how can we go from this side to that side <laughs> yeah absolutely all right so um, many of the immigrants what the, what they didn't know was that they they would walk a very similar staircase that we um, walked up today you know and that staircase atop the staircase would be five maybe six people and they're looking down at them. Mm -hmm. They're looking for anything that may be wrong. You know, any pains, any limping, any uh, signs of shortness of breath. They're observing all of this. Yeah. And if they believe that they had something, they'll take out a, a large piece of chalk and then they'll write down on their inner shoulder the letter um, that they thought they had, the letter of the sickness, of the disease that they thought they had, you know? So overall, that would be the first medical inspection. Mm -hmm. And this would not take place more than, more than several seconds. Okay. You know? And so then the second one, the second exam that many immigrants had to go through involved this instrument right here. And this instrument, this is actually called a button hook. This button instrument, hook? Okay. yeah, it was, the button hook was used to um, check for the contagious eye disease trachoma. Um, trachoma happens still to be one of the leading causes, uh, uh, leading eye diseases that causes blindness today. So what they would do for many immigrants coming up, they would actually take this hook, they would ask them to lean their head back, and then they would actually curl their eyelid inside out just to see what's underneath the eyelid, to see if there's any sores, to see if the eyelashes were extended. And at the end of each of these in, in, uh, medical inspection stations would be a white towel that would really clean this instrument. And that, that's, we know that because the white towel was actually put, they had disinfectant, they had rubbing alcohol, they had a liquid, that, an agent that actually cleaned this instrument. But just imagine receiving one of these exams. You know, like, imagine if you, had, you, you were with a family of four. You just spent 17 days, maybe 18 days, with your family members. Like every waking moment you just spent with them. And then after this exam, they're now like 30, 40 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really terrifying because especially like right behind us may have stood 920, 930 people. We have never seen maybe more than 500 people in our entire lives. And there are over 900 people right here. So put yourself in their shoes right now. This is actually, we're, we're on this journey and we're, we're going to go further. We're going to see what they did next. Sure. And I remember in a very recent movie, I mean, the name is Brooklyn, and the very last scene, the, the, the female char main character just tell the girl on the boat that if you go to in this room, go straight and look ahead, know as if where you're going. That's that's a, like the state of mind of the early immigrants, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, like it, it's, I'm so glad you brought that up because like in terms of like what did the immigrants expect next, you know? Hey, maybe they received a letter that was tucked in their pocket, you know, giving them like clear instructions on what to do. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe uh, they were told on the boat like they did in the movie Brooklyn. Yeah. Hey, put some blush on, you know, uh, look, look like you're confident, look yeah, like you belong confident. here. You know, so because right behind this, these inspection tables yeah. stood an inspector who was going to ask you questions. What kind of questions? Uh, uh, but let me just imitate, sure. okay? Sure, <laughs> you're, yeah, absolutely. Be fun. So, so do you. I will be the uh -huh. immigrant and you will be the inspector, right? Absolutely. All right, so here we go. What's your name? Yue Yuan. Where are you from? China. How old are you? I'm 27, 28. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, sure. Do you have a job? No. <laughs> what do you plan to do in the United States? Staying for a couple of days. A couple of days? Uh, no, a couple of months. 
I'm not sure. <laughs> do, you, do you have family members living in the United States? Yeah, I have a very uh, remote family living here. I will go spend her, I believe. Let's see. What, um, how much money do you have? Right now, I have zero cash, but I have credit card. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's, Will I pass? <laughs> no, um, um, unfortunately, uh, you, you may be held for further legal uh, uh, detention. Okay. You know? but, Why? Why is that? Uh, well, so, several things. Mm -hmm. um, you, you didn't have enough money, and that was one of the concerns that inspectors had. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they called uh, those that didn't have enough money uh, liable to be a public charge okay mm -hmm. and and that that meant that they were afraid that these immigrants could not support themselves okay so that was one of the main reasons you know just as important as the medical reasons mm -hmm. that kept many of the uh, immigrants out mm -hmm. thankfully 80 percent of the immigrants were finished here at ellis island mm -hmm. from beginning to end mm -hmm. anywhere from three to five hours they were done Okay. Yeah, so it, it was it was a very efficient system. You know, again, three three to five hours. It's like waiting waiting in the, the airport <laughs> or or the hospital. Yeah, a really quick visit. You know, so it wasn't it did it didn't take that that long. You know, I mean the they wanted uh, immigrants to to be seen through. They they and a, a lot of opportunities awaited them uh, once they were done with both. The medical and legal inspection. Okay, what other concerns do the inspector have? Um, in, on top of that, they, they were really concerned that I immigrants may have arrived with their job. Mm -hmm. And uh, th they were concerned about contract labor laws at the time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, meaning maybe immigrants may have been taken advantage of. You know, so they were concerned. They wanted immigrants to arrive to the United States find a job here so that they could actually get uh, higher wages mm -hmm. or so they believed. Mm -hmm. So that was definitely another concern that they had. They were also concerned about immigrants with different political beliefs. Mm -hmm. But overall, you know, it was a very streamlined uh, process. Any yeah. other concerns? Uh, yeah, I, I think, much. yeah, I think that's pretty much, you know, I mean, I think there were certain diseases they were, that they were on the lookout for more than others, mm -hmm. you know, but for many of the immigrants here, you know, they, you know, it, it, it took place less than a day. Okay. So when was this place used as an immigrant station? Sure. That was between when and when? Uh, between the years 1892 mm -hmm. to 1924. Those were the most popular years yeah. here at Ellis Island. And how many people arrived here to get into the United States in these years? Uh, o over 12 million. And how many get into the United States? Uh, out, out of that, mm -hmm. like over over 11 million wow. you know so That's it was great. yeah it was really great it really like the it, immigrant population in the united states during the peak years it was higher than it is today it was like 11 to 13 percent today you know it's hovering around 11 percent as well so you know it, the the contributions that immigrants made to ellis island you know can uh, you can see it in so many different ways mm. um and so let's let's take a look at the stairs sure so if the immigrants go through the inspection, inspector's desk, they will be lit through the stairs, right? Right. So after the, the questions <laughs> that they received here, they would actually then be informed to go down one of three staircases. So there are differences between the stairs. Yeah, let's, let's, let's take a look. So right over here, this, this staircase, this is the most popular staircase. Then an inspector would be, let's just say the immigrant's final destination was Cleveland, was uh, Cincinnati. Any city outside of New York, they would be told to go down this staircase if everything checked out. Okay. Um, this staircase would lead them to uh, a train station. They would, take a, they would purchase their uh, train ticket here at Ellis Island, and then they would uh, take a ferry to Jersey City where they were going to uh, take a train to their next stop. Mm -hmm. The train ticket would oftentimes be stapled on their jacket too. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so um, the staircase over on the left-hand side, that is a, a ticket that would take you to, I mean, that would take you to New York. So let's go yeah. over to the left-hand side. On appearance, 
looks similar. It does <laughs> look it does look very yeah, similar. It looks to a different destination. It does. Yeah, New York City there there would be a, a boat that would take you to the lower tip of Manhattan. Mm-hmm. And that that would be your next uh, destination, you know. I think what's also um, so these two staircases, the right staircase and the staircase that we're looking at right now to the left, those are the staircases that would mean that you were finished here at Ellis Island in three to five hours. And the middle staircase right now, there will be some troubles with there with this stair. Uh, absolutely. So ten percent of the immigrants actually had to stay here because maybe there was something wrong with their back. Maybe they they were just like breathing uncontrollably. It could have been because they were nervous. Yeah. Or maybe it it was because the, the flu or something. Yeah. yeah, the flu, you know, and or like yeah, other illnesses that they may have caught on the boat. Or another reason may have been because the uh legal inspection did not go as well as they, they wanted it to. So if they Led through this stair. It means they have finished an inspection. They can enter America, but they will face later other inspections and medical treatment, something like that. They would. They would. So yeah, Ellis Island actually um, built one of uh, the best hospitals uh, in America at that time. The United States Public Health Service. They constructed a hospital in 1905, 1906, and they had um, some of the best stud- medical students.、Um, they had different、um, sections. They had a psychiatric ward, a contagious disease ward, all for the immigrants, and they、uh, they paid、um, an affordable rate to to get this medical care. So this is really great, you know. So I think one of the other things to really point out that's really amazing about Ellis Island is that immigrants received translation services.、Oh. Uh, they, because wait, they don't necessarily speak English when they get here, right? Absolutely. So they they had over fifty different languages that were spoken here, and、um, let's let's take a look upstairs too, because one chapter that we really don't talk about at Ellis Island. Uh, is the help that we that immigrants received from immigrant aid societies? So th- let let's head upstairs and take a look at where their offices once were. Sure. I believe、uh, in the history of New York City, there was one really famous translator, Aguadilla, right? Yes, yes. So he was a former mayor of New York. He was, he was, and he he was he spoke so many different languages, and he actually worked as a translator over at the hospitals. So. Uh, Laguardia, he he saw some of、um, the mistreatment that immigrants received over there, and he really advocated. He really、uh, fought for their rights. So we're we're approaching、uh, one of the. Um, original elevators. So in the gates right here, this was like from about 1911, and then. So on our way、uh, up these stairs,、um, again, these are original staircases as well. Oh. Yeah. So it's actually really kind of, kind of great. You know, we see all the,、um, the architecture it- itself, like how, well, like what we decided to keep, what we did decided to,、uh, you know, dis- re- reinterpret. And we are now approaching the third floor. Yeah. And from the third floor, we can have a very good view of the second floor, the registry room. Yeah, look at that! Look at how beautiful this this is itself. You know, you can see like the the tiles themselves. The,、uh, this famed Spanish architect, the、uh, Rafael、uh, Castellino, created this、um, for the immigrants. You know, and he was actually contracted to create other、um, other forms using th- these tiles throughout New York City. And today, we we see over we see his work in over two hundred and twenty buildings. Just imagine in the old days, the second floor would be lined with people from different parts of the world. 
waiting for their access to America. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So rows and rows of benches. We'll see right down there. We、uh, see that a lot in the movies, actually. Right, all right. So the the movies themselves, you know, like they. They really de- depict. They do a good, good image,、uh, you know, interpretation of Ellis Island. You know, some of the things may not be too true about about the. But it will give you a general idea of what it was like in the past.、Right? Exactly, exactly. And these、um, these these doors right here once. Were offices belonging to these immigrant aid societies and immigrant aid societies? They provided a host of、uh, services. They、uh, provided temporary loans. They provided、uh, places for them to stay. They were even kind of they kind of served as like employment agencies of sorts. So it's like America at that time was pretty open to the immigrants. Uh, right. In 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 terms of like finding、uh, a safety net for the immigrants. I think、uh, immigrant aid societies really did a good job with that as well. Is, is it possible we're checking one of these rooms?、Uh, so we, yeah. So we right now are going to head to the exhibit "Treasures from Home,"、okay. and "Treasures from Home" right now features some of the actual items that families.、Um, Who, who came through Ellis Island brought with them. It was in their actual suitcase. So we're going to take a look at that. Exciting. So we could see some of the different exhibits that we have right now. We,、uh, and when you come and visit Ellis Island, we have three floors worth of exhibits. So we really w- welcome you guys to come come and check this out because there's so much to see. You know,、uh, from、uh, galleries that talk about the different reasons why they came to the um, to um, our newest exhibit, which talks about.、Uh, Immigration from 1945 to present day. Yeah, because time is changing, and for hundreds of years, they brought different things to America over the years. Right, absolutely. So we'll we'll see some of the the connections, the relationships, you know, between、uh, those who came here、uh, in the past and those that are coming here today. You know, and I think we'll, you know, I think one of the most powerful things. Is seeing the connections and some how some of the story threads,、uh, you, you know, seeing the, the the relationship between the two. I think it's extremely important. Yeah, where do I start? So, this is yeah, this is one of our、uh, favorite galleries over here because be, because treasures from home, you know, these are the items that these families felt were extremely important, you know, to to bring with them, you know. So you could see like from smaller artifacts like. Fans and and、um, yeah, just、yes. what they felt was was important. You know, maybe this was out of style in in when they arrived to America, but it, the clothing here, this was definitely one way that they felt important enough that allowed them to preserve their traditions, their cultures. You know,、yeah, and every nation has their different way of dressing, and clothing is one of the、uh, things that makes them feel like they belong to. Their homeland, right? Right, right, and and、uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. So that's definitely one of the things that is worth bringing up. The story after Ellis Island. How did they feel like they continued to belong? How did they adjust to their community? How did they find community? And I think in many ways, the suitcases, what you find. Um, in this gallery, is just this sense of belonging, this sense of cu- community that they they、uh, can unlock.、Mm-hmm. So we we have a, a host of different families from、um, di- different countries. You know this th- this teddy bear. We love this teddy bear.、Um, It's cute. So it's、um, from hundreds of years ago. Yeah, yeah, but about a hundred years ago, like the, so, the,、uh, the Schneider family from from Germany. You know, they they right now、um, th- th- this teddy bear we use in all of our、uh, yeah. publications. You know, we we love it. All, all of our teacher guides. You know, all of our activities. You know, people actually like, gravitate to this teddy bear. It's it's in a really great place.、Um, but you could also see right here too, like、um, the the. Yeah, Certificates. What what papers did they feel were important? You know, some of these are religious artifacts. Others,、uh, as we see right here, these are personal papers that, you know, that the families themselves felt really important. You know, are they, they can, personal letters or documents? 
Was there a pause? Absolutely. It, it ranges, you know, from um, processing, immigrant processing papers to personal correspondence, you know. That in itself, you know, they, I, I, I often like to think about the different reasons why they would hold on mm -hmm. to those letters. Mm -hmm. what, why, how did, why did it feel important to them at that particular moment? And why did they feel uh, it was imperative that they kept it throughout, throughout generations? So this, you know, so we, this is actually really great over here too. You know, speaking of um, per personal items and papers, you know, religion, you know, extremely important part of, um, of, of, of these cultural traditions that they feel should be brought over. You know, and I, th I think o overall... Um, this section is called spiritual life, so it's about their religious belief in the past. Right, right. So, like, deciding, like, what, you know... Because they come from so many different parts and so many different cultures of the world. They held on to their original belief when they were in their home. Right, and, and preserving these traditions, pre preserving... Uh, th these beliefs were, were extremely important. Yeah, so, right. yeah. Especially as a community, right? Right. That's definitely one way of fostering a building uh, the, these relationships in, the, in these communities. Mm -hmm. So we, we love uh, th this gallery, and uh, we, we do keep in touch still with some of the families that are featured mm -hmm. um, in, in this gallery, you know, like um, the this, this Sicarella family, mm -hmm. as an example. We keep in touch with their daughter, who... Uh, who tells us quite a bit about their um, their family history still today? Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, so this is definitely want to invite you guys to to take take a look at this. You know, I mean this. Uh, this these are beautiful clothes. <gasps> yeah, a, 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 absolutely. You know, like and it's it's so fascinating to take a look at it today too. Yeah, like right. uh, how, how many. Um, so where are these clothes from? It's Thomas family, but I'm not sure which country it is originally from. Uh, they were originally from Lebanon. Oh. Yeah. So we, yeah, we we want to point out, you know, like you know, Ellis Island. It's a vast collection of people f throughout the world. Mm -hmm. We tend to talk about the European immigrant experience, but really, people from all over the world. Yeah, came. from Middle East, from Asia, and from a lot of countries. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, we definitely, um, again, want to invite you to, to see this. Like the Sicarella family, they're, they're from Italy them, themselves, you know, as we talked about before, you know. And so some of the, the documents that we see right here, you know, the, the original uh, passports, the citizenship papers are all featured here as well. So. I believe this is from an Italian aristocratic family because all the clothes and shoes seem so fancy. Uh, yeah, I mean, potentially, you know, mm -hmm. like seeing just like what, what was their best impression? Mm -hmm. with the best impression that they wanted to make in America? Mm -hmm. Hey, this was it right here. This was in this suitcase. So definitely... Come on over, definitely check this out. You know, see how you find your place. We, we want to encourage all of our guests, all of our visitors, mm -hmm. to find their place mm -hmm. at Ellis Island. Actually, I have visited this museum before quite a few times, and what I find relevant is here. Uh, it's right. here at this collection because, yeah, we're from China, um, and I believe you're from China too, your family. Right. And there are some Chinese musical instruments here. <laughs> Oh yeah, like which? Oh like yeah, the, the hu qi, right, quarter, right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 so so personal, you know. Like I, you're absolutely right, you know. Just like it must be a musician or or some person who bring it here, right? Right, and and the culture, the exchange of culture of ideas, you know, it's, it's so powerful, right? You know, I'm I'm so glad you brought that up, you mm -hmm. know, like I. I think we can relate to it in a number of different ways. You know, my my my, my dad's from uh, Guangzhou, mm -hmm. and uh, my you know my mom's from Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and you know, like, in many ways, taking a look at this, mm -hmm. seeing Ellis Island, seeing these galleries, it's a way to to find your ancestry, the yeah. trace of your ancestry. Yeah, and to identify with some of the feelings that they went through mm -hmm. when they arrived. Mm -hmm. What did they feel that? Uh, was important, you know. My 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 mother, as an example, like looking at this gallery, mm -hmm. I didn't re realize until very recently mm -hmm. that she was required to bring two items mm -hmm. with her to the United States, and that was a sewing machine 
and a rice cooker. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so it's kind of interesting to connect, making those relationships too. So definitely find your place in this, in, in this gallery. Definitely come to Ellis Island. There are a number of different ways to. What else? Uh, this is uh, silverware, so machine, right? Right, right. So the sewing machine right here, you know, it tells a different part. I know, I know. I, I think of my mother uh, when, whenever we see some, whenever I pass through this gallery, you know. So definitely, take a look at this. See this for yourself, guys. You know, this is your space. We want to make this a space where all of our visitors can find a voice in this story. You know, one of the most powerful stories again in America, the story of immigration. Mm -hmm. Because until now, America is still a society that constitutes a lot of immigrants. Uh, absolutely, and they continue to uh, still contribute to the fabric of American society. Mm -hmm. They continue to reshape uh, how uh, the, the American story is told. Mm -hmm. You know, and in, in 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 some ways, you know, Ellis Island represents this. You know, this uh, such a fascinating part of this story you know and this that's why we want this story to be told that's why we feel this story is important because of how uh, the story of immigration evolves mm -hmm. and that is a reason like why museums still exist today because we preserve some culture in the past and uh, that that the modern people see their trace and uh, find what they can relate to right 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 absolutely so just so so this is why we found th this museum to be such 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 an important part. You know, and this is also a very interesting picture on the whole heading. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is a com commemorative uh, piece. Um, it's it's, uh, it's in the shape of Manhattan, but it's yellow submarine. <laughs> right, uh, uh, y Yoko Ono actually and Steve Bono actually came here mm -hmm. to uh, for for uh, Yoko Ono actually came here for um, the the unveiling of of this work. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a really, really great piece. We're, we're glad to have this, we're honored to have this piece up as well. So is this in honor of John Lennon, right? I, I, you, you know, I, I think the, this, the, this piece was up um, as part of our special exhi exhibition that we decided to bring back. And so in today's museum tour on the International Museum Day, we have Peter Wang, a pretty experienced ranger in the Alice Museum Immigration, I mean Alice Island Immigration Museum, um, told us stories of early immigrants, how they came to America, um, their land of hope at the time, and how they went through the medical ins uh, the inspections and medical treatment, and finally come to the place where they wanted to be. And we have also checked out some of the treasures they brought from home the thing they feel most related to at the time. And uh, until this day, people still look at these this things, this ex exhibition, and find something that in their culture that is very interesting. And that is the reason why museums still um, exist, uh, exist today and why museums are so popular for visitors today because everybody can find themselves in the museum. And I think that concludes our today's Facebook Live museum tour. We we have brought you, my colleague and I have brought you to museum like across the world, in China, in in Germany, and in in Moscow, in in Russia, in the United States, and many other places. I hope you like it, and thank you very much for watching.